All right, everybody. So today we got a pretty cool video. It's not going to be as awesome as I'd hoped because unfortunately the cemetery is locked, but at the very least you can still see the graves. So today we are at the St. John's Episcopal Cemetery uh, where some serious Tallahassee royalty is buried. So here, uh, let me show you. We have the graves of Achille Marat and his wife Catherine. You see right there, those two obelisks, those are their graves. So I wish I could get a closer view, but this is as good as it's going to be today. Those are their graves. Um, that little white thing right up front, right there, is uh, the Marat seal. But so basically, Achille Marat uh, was the son of Joachim and uh, I think Caroline Bonaparte. Caroline Bonaparte was uh, the sister of Napoleon, and so uh, by extension, Achille was his nephew. Uh, in 1815, his father was executed when Napoleon was exiled for the second time. So, uh, you know, here we had little Achille Marat, who, uh, for all intents and purposes, was going to be king of uh, Naples. After Napoleon's deposition, they were forced to leave. So Achille Marat was a pretty eccentric character. Uh, he moved to Florida, I think in 1822, uh, when he was like 21. And so he moved to St. Augustine first and uh, bought this little plantation. And uh, basically, he used to love to uh, swim nude in the creek. Uh, he had a little submersible chair that he would sit in. <laughs> he had a crazy dining taste. Uh, it said he liked to dine on turkey buzzard, owl, <laughs> alligator, um, rattlesnake, all the, uh, the weird Florida wildlife. In 1825, he came and uh, settled in Tallahassee. Uh, he bought a plantation here as well, which he called uh, La Poma, which is an anagram for uh, Napoli, where he was originally going to be king. A year later, he met his wife, who was the great niece of George Washington. So we had French royalty and American presidency combining right here in Tallahassee. Who would have thought? They never had any kids. Unfortunately for himself, Achille was a poor financial planner. And um, around 1837, he had to take out a mortgage on his uh, plantation. In 1839, he lost to the Tallahassee Union Bank, where according to that sign back there, he'd even been a director. So the cool thing is, is uh, the Tallahassee Union Bank had a building that was built in 1841, two years after um, he lost his plantation. So I'm gonna show you that real fast right now. This retired bank building is actually the oldest bank in Florida. All right guys, so I'm sitting on the steps now of the Tallahassee Union Bank. So this is the company that Achille Marat took out his loan with on uh, La Poma Plantation. Uh, this building was actually moved here to be just south of the Capitol. See, there's the Capitol building. Um, and I think 1971, it was, it was a few blocks away on South Adams Street, uh, which is actually pretty close to where uh, Marat and his wife are buried. So uh, now you've seen the bank, we'll head back over to the, uh, the cemetery and uh, continue showing you uh, what's there. One thing that's always fun as you're walking along the uh, sides of the road in Tallahassee is you never know, you might see an artifact laying there. Can't take it, but it's cool. I've seen pocket watch fobs, uh, old bricks, tons of stuff. Coke bottles. Uh, found an old coin once, so that was cool. All right, now that we're back from the bank, uh, we'll continue what we're doing here. After he lost his plantation, I think he bought another one in Jefferson County, maybe. Um, and really nothing substantial happened after that to him. Uh, so he died in 1847 at age 46, and his wife, Catherine, died about 20 years later. In the meantime, in 1854, she bought a plantation uh, known as Bellevue. That building was moved in 1967 to the Tallahassee Junior Museum where you can still see it today. Achille himself didn't actually live there, but his wife Catherine did. So, uh, you know, really cool piece of Florida history. I really wish we'd been able to get into the cemetery today, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it's coronavirus related or just the church hasn't opened the gates yet. It's like 11 o'clock, so 
they probably just have it shut down temporarily. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not made to be all professional and cool. It's just a fun history lesson. So uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed.